How's it going, everybody? A product that I am a little bit too excited about, um, and and maybe without merit, to be to be completely honest. So today, Tops released uh, Bowman Chrome University 2022-23 uh, for basketball. Uh, you probably heard by now, but the big chase in this is Victor Wimbignana. Um, and it turns out his, uh, his base card, which we thought would just be in the set is actually an extended set, super short print. So a little less reason to be hype, but still that to be said, an opportunity to hit on card autographs of him. Those do appear to be redemptions. Um, so that, you know, chase one first card I've ever signed, uh, is going to be a redemption, which is exciting in its own right. Because, uh, if you hit one of the green ones, it means you've got about a one in 99 chance of getting that card. Uh, these boxes each come with 24 packs per box, four cards per pack. They come in 12 box cases. From what I've kind of seen so far, each box uh, comes with the two guaranteed autographs that they mentioned there on the front, in addition to either two to three numbered cards. Uh, boxes are just south of about $160 right now, or actually, sorry, they're at $160 if you buy them directly from Tops. Um, LCSs, from what I've seen, are, are kind of a little bit higher than that, I think, anticipating uh, the, the hype of this product when you're chasing the likes of Victor, Caitlin Clark is amongst, uh, Brandon Miller and some of the other top talent heading into this year's NBA draft. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. Um, again, I am pretty, pretty stoked just to see what we get in this. Um, I am an IU graduate, uh, Indiana university for those not from the state. I mean, we have three guys or four guys in this set. Uh, so that's pretty exciting in its own right. In addition, not a Purdue guy by any by any means, but I have a lot of friends who are. Zach Eady, who just announced that he's going to be returning to Purdue as one of the, the guys that you can get in this. And then there's just a lot of other cool names. Um, the, the thing that I love about Bowman University products is just that, uh, you know, you're getting that opportunity to not only get people who are heading into the draft um, that's coming up here in uh, in 20 days. Wow, that's uh, that'll be here before we know it. But also the chance to get some guys who are going back to school um, or even are, are heading uh, to college. Uh, I, I've noticed there's some uh, some high school prospects in this as well. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Um, the case hit insert in these is going to be your uh, big kahuna like it has been in previous sets. So there's your base design. Looks exactly like what it did for Bowman University football. Um, as well as the uh, the Bowman baseball release that they came out with this year. So starting off, we've got Frankie Collins, Chris Livingston, nice player for Kentucky there. And our first insert is Amari Bailey skyscraping. These are pretty cool. I think Bailey stayed in the draft. I want to say I saw him projected as a late first rounder. And then Ashlyn Watkins, uh, who is now in the WNBA. Um, a, a, another name that I'm kind of excited about is Aaliyah Boston, living here in Indianapolis. She was the number one pick for the Indiana Fever, and it's off to a great start. So excited to see what her career entails, but also excited to get some of her first cards. There's one of the IU guys right there, Race Thompson, was a really productive player for the Hoosiers. We got Brandon Murray. It's not a refractor, just looks a little lighter. Uh, Damar Langford and another Amari Bailey. So what do you guys think about this, though, being collegiate? Does that excite you? Are you like a big college basketball fan? I know a lot of people love college basketball. Um, so I think this set could do well, um, just given the fact that, you know, people like to at least get cards of the guys that they cheered for in college. But, uh, you know, they might not uh, pan out. Uh, Kyle Filipowski, huge uh, freshman season at Duke. Exciting to see him on this checklist. we got a Trey White. It appears to be the regular purple. It is. Number 399. Uh, freshman for USC 6'6", uh, was the number 35 prospect in his class, according to this. I don't know much about Trey, but that's kind of, the, you know, the appeal to this set is um, even if it's a guy that you don't know, even if it's a guy that might not be headed to the pros quite yet, uh, always offer that opportunity for them to blow up. And then we had a Vincent uh, Uwachuku as well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I, I think I'm kind of into it. I like the idea of like having first in basketball and football, um, the way that we do for baseball gives you that early opportunity to get the guys cards. There's Malik Renault, the other IU guy. And then we've got our first, uh, these are like 1952 or 1948 Bowman, but they're calling them the 09 set. Uh, this one is of Judah Mintz. Um, if you've been collecting long enough, you might remember that back in 2009, 2010, um, they did like a Bowman 1950 or not. It wasn't 52. Was it 52? I think it, might, it was either 48 or 52. 
and all the cards look like this. Um, but it's interesting that they're calling them like oh nines instead of uh, the year that that set was actually, um, you know, meant to meant to be. And uh, that set, of course, had like Steph Curry rookies, James Harden rookies, and of course, you know, who can ever forget Hashim Thabit, right? Still no auto. We did hit the one numbered. Um, this is just a pack of base. Uh, again, you know, don't expect to see a Victor base card very frequently. Those are super duper short printed. Um, we do have the odds on the back of the pack, so I might take a look at that real quick and just kind of see. We have another refractor coming up here. Uh, Femi Udokale for Seton Hall. Don't know him. There's my Leah Boston for my now starting uh, PC of her. <laughs> Since I have never uh, really chased WNBA cards, but you know now that you've got Aaliyah, who seems to be a star in the making in her own right, and then Caitlin Clark being one of the chases of the product, it might be the time to start collecting women's basketball stuff. You never know. Um, it'll be interesting to see how much of an impact Caitlin Clark will have on the landscape of cards, um, because obviously, you know, even a, a player like Sabrina Inescu um, kind of had started that hype train, but that's quickly kind of died down for WNBA stuff. Um, Cam Whitmore, a guy that I'd love to see the Pacers draft at seventh overall. And then Nick Smith Jr., a guy who could be there as well. Very talented guard from Arkansas, uh, slotted to be a top 10 pick. Some people even have him as high as fourth overall. So never know that. Kind of like one through three kind of seems to be locked up. Um, it seems like it'll be Wimby, then Scoot Henderson, and then Brandon Miller. But, uh, you know, a lot of question marks after that. Um, a lot of talent in this draft. So there's our Caitlin Clark base. So her first Bowman Chrome card, she was in Inception as a base card as well. Pretty off-centered there on the back. Um, but yeah, cool to see her. Uh, you know, highest TV rating in uh, women's basketball history for the national championship between her and, uh, and LSU. Uh, LSU obviously coming on top there. But, um, you know, Clark, a very exciting player to watch. If you're not – if you don't watch women's basketball – Give, like, Iowa basketball one chance. I think you'll like the way she plays. She's got a, a really good game um, and, and really fun to watch her. We've got some sort of blue lava coming up here. Sky Clark, Juju Watkins, uh, she is one of the high school players. DJ Horn is our second numbered card here. This one is to 199. Senior point guard from Arizona State. Another guy I'm not really familiar with, but if you're a Sun Devils fan, you know, might be somebody that you're chasing. Hard to say. I don't want to be like, oh, that's a crap hit because you really never know. Um, you know, I think if you've ever opened like the Prism drafts or Leaf draft, uh, some surprise people sometimes that, you know, not meant to be necessarily great pros, but they end up being uh, super collected just in their short time span. Another refractor or this one is an insert, actually, pardon me. I think that's Jeremy. Is that Jeremy Roach? No, Mark Mitchell from Duke. Another talented player. I believe uh, Mitchell is hanging around for another year. I think I saw him in next year's mock drafts. Uh, Anthony Black, another guy who will uh, likely be drafted in the lottery. Arkansas had a, a really loaded freshman team um, and then kind of flamed out in the tournament. All right, we've got another insert, MJ Rice from Kansas. That jersey looks super airbrushed, doesn't that? I'm wondering if they made these inserts before they, uh, they had an opportunity to... Um, get the game photos like these, you know, I have to kind of take a closer look, but still nice. Regardless, it's still nice to see them in a, in a Jersey that has logos on it and stuff. Cause sometimes that's definitely not the case. Caleb love just uh, tried to transfer to Michigan and now is heading to Arizona. Cause he had apparently had issues with his credits. There's a Juju Watkins. This one feels a little fatter. It's not, that's just a regular refractor of her. Gigi Jackson that looks like a video game photo, like very airbrushed there, but. Uh, cool look to that card regardless. We're still waiting on our autos. Um, 24 packs. We still got about half the box though. So they're in here somewhere, right? They have to be, right? <laughs> um, there's Zach Eady, uh, reigning national player of the year for Purdue. And TJD probably should have won national player of the year, in my opinion. He did beat Eady twice, right? He didn't lose to a 16 seed. Just saying. All right. This one feels fairly thin. Thick. I think we might have our autograph here. Yeah, we do. We have an auto. Uh, it looks like a Ray Wave auto. Uh, Jalen Bridges. And then let's see what position. We got a point guard. 
Devin Carter from Providence. Okay. I hit him in a box of the um, Bowman Inception. I don't know much about Devin Carter. Uh, he did the auto that I hit did sell. Um, but yeah, not a, not a guy I'm super familiar with. Um, this one is to 199. Um, kind of a, yeah, wait and see hit, uh, really sad to see, you know, Mikey Williams, who, you know, at one point was considered the next, the, the next big thing in his class might've thrown his career away. I, I don't remember exactly what the pending charges are, but I know there's some legal stuff going on with him and, um, you know, sad to, sad to see that happen regardless. Um, cause it will affect, uh, his life in some way negatively. I'm sure whether that's, even if he comes back to basketball, um, you know, it likely won't mean that he's going to be drafted as high. Um, and, uh, if he, it could end up even worse than that. So kind of a wait and see with Mikey, but, um, I was interested that they included him in this set. Cause I think some of that stuff was already known. Uh, we got Julian Phillips, Grady Dick on the, uh, 09 style. That one looks awesome with the, uh, the blue Kansas Jersey. Uh, I believe that's airbrushed as well. Grady likely a top 10 pick best shooter in the draft. A lot of people are saying. Um, not really sure who they're like comparing him to NBA wise, uh, but a, a very solid player who will likely go very high, um, in a couple weeks, probably the card I've gotten most excited about, uh, we got an Invicta here. So you get, you can tell right away. I mean, it's a slightly thicker card. You'd usually get two of these a box. And how about that? Caitlin Clark on the Invicta. So yeah, these are a, a slightly shorter printed, uh, insert. So to get uh, arguably the best player on that checklist in terms of uh, probably her and Brandon Miller, uh, I will take that for sure. I don't know if this will fit in one of these. It might be a little too thick. Uh, yeah, no, it's fitting in there. So Caitlin Clark on our Invicta insert. That's a nice one. Uh, and then you got Seth Trumbull and Katie Johnson. So back-to-back -back nice inserts. Maybe we're heating up here. We also had the auto, right? So there's my boy, Jalen hood Shafino on the back of this one. Let's see what else we got. Kalel Ware just transferred to IU. Actually, I forgot he's in this set too. Was he a McDonald's All-American? Went to Oregon, but then uh, decided after one year of not getting a whole lot of playing time there that he was going to transfer. Sky Clark on the refractor. And then there's Jalen hood Shafino. Watch out for this kid in the pros. I'm telling you, like, the game is just super calm. Um, no moment ever seems too big for him. He's got a great mid-range shot. Can shoot the three. Uh, attacks the paint. I just think... There was something about playing in the Big Ten that was a little too slow for his game. And I have a feeling Jalen Hutchifino is going to surprise a lot of people in the NBA. Just go back to this moment, whether he stinks or he's amazing. And remember that I said this. Uh, you can either make fun of me in a couple years or you can tell me how right I was um, about Jalen. Because I, I think he has a ton of upside. I'm super excited about getting his cards this year. Um, whether he ends up on the Pacers or not, um, he's somebody that I'm going to definitely be getting cards of. Looks like this might be, we got another uh, parallel card coming up here. Brandon Murray on Georgetown. Their program really has fallen off the map. Uh, this is a purple shimmer, not numbered. Um, I don't know anything about Brandon. He's a sophomore. Again, Georgetown just kind of falling off the, uh, the proverbial cliff uh, in terms of stuff. And then Jordan Hawkins, a guy that, you know, you'll likely see go in the lottery or late or shortly after. Um, in the draft. All right, we got a couple packs left. Still waiting for one more autograph here. And it is this one. You can see the sticker there. What do we got? Another point guard. Chance Westry from Auburn. He was a freshman. I do vaguely remember him. Uh, was a four-star recruit. I think it's just because Auburn was so good uh, the prior year when they had um, Walker Kessler and, uh, and Jabari Smith. Um, so Chance Westry, uh, was a freshman this year. Uh, I, I, I believe he's a pretty good player. I really couldn't say one way or another. Um, but yeah, not obviously one of the, uh, the big, big chase autographs that we'd be looking for. So, so far still best card would definitely be that Caitlin Clark. Um, and I, you know, I don't mind that cause I kind of like being real with you guys. I like showing you, um, what a regular box of this is probably going to look like. There's your Brandon Miller base. It does appear to be airbrushed. Uh, Derek Lively, kind of the same thing. So it looks like they probably just took um, high school images of the kids and then uh, put the, the pro uniforms on there. That's a cool Brandon Miller, though. The skyscraping insert of Brandon Miller. Um, just went through Alabama for the first time. 
in my life. I actually did a, a night stay in Tuscaloosa doing a road trip down to New Orleans with a buddy. And I'll just shut my mouth. Uh, Alabama, not a state I'll probably ever visit again, though. I'll just say that much. Um, very nice campus. People. Yeah. Yeah. Students weren't there. Look at that. Brandon Miller coming out hot. <laughs> it's Brandon Miller after Brandon Miller after Brandon Miller. Jeez. Okay. So nice insert here. So uh, to, you know, get two inserts of, uh, you know, two of the top uh, top players in the set um, or three inserts now. That's pretty good. This uh, Matas uh, Bulis, I'll have to learn how to say his name. Uh, a lot of people hyping him up as the, uh, the next number one pick. So you might see him getting his name called number one overall. Um, next year. So a nice addition to the set there, um, you know, gives you a little bit more of a chase with the potential of, you know, Wimbignana being a number one guy. And then obviously um, some future stars as well. Tyrese Proctor on the insert there, Posh Alexander. And we are down to our last pack. It feels like we probably hit everything, but you never know. Something else might pop out. Let's just hope. All right. We got a refractor to close things out and it is of Seth Trimble, nice player for North Carolina, but um, not a super big hit by any means. So I would really honestly say, look, um, the current price point, it's not going to be that bad because the Wimbignana autographs are going to sell for thousands of dollars, uh, whether it's just the base one, um, as we found out with uh, with the Bowman Inception, or if it is the, the Chrome uh, parallels, right? So you have those opportunities for those. But, you know, you also in each box, keep in mind that you can nickel and dime this stuff a little bit too. Um, I was very surprised with uh, with how well some of the singles from like McDonald's All-American did, um, selling the likes of Anthony Black. Um, who else was in that set? Brandon Miller, uh, even some of the the women's players in there like Lauren Betts and Kiki Rice. Um, so, you know, even if you start getting like 10 bucks for this, $5 for this, $5 for this, or if you grade these, cause they're well centered, but in the case of these Brandon Millers, um, I'll have to kind of check that Caitlin Clark cause it's a little thicker. There's an opportunity here. Um, and with card boxes going down in value, um, you know, I think it's a safe play even at that like 160, 175 range. So happy to kind of show you guys a box of it. Um, sucks that I didn't do as well as like Pac-Man and hit a Wimbignana, but, uh, representative of what this product might look like, um, you know, on an average box type basis. So thank you guys as always for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back soon with another break. Thanks guys.